Hello everyone, uh, this is a video that uh, some of you might find interesting. It's uh, going to be about how to clean a computer. Now this is a computer that one of my relatives gave me. They were having some problems with their computer, so I built them a new one out of some scrap parts that I had. And they allowed me to take this one home to clean. As you can see, it's a pre-built. Um, I won't go into details about how much I eat pre built but... Anyway, so we'll take a little bit of uh, a look at this computer as it has some damage. Um, it's very dirty and uh, it should be fun to clean out. So hope you enjoy the stuff to note about this computer is that uh, I would estimate that it probably hasn't been cleaned out in about six years. The previous owner had cats and also smoked so there is a general horror scene for any sort of computer junk. Right along here there's uh, rust damage and we'll see that more once we open this up. It's the story that I'm told that someone dr dropped coffee or water along the side here. So as you can see extensive rust damage, rust damage to the case as well. The side panel, sorry. And here's just a taste of what we're looking at in terms of tar buildup. So this is the inside. Uh, the board is Intel. It came stock with, I believe, and let's see, I believe this is a 200 watt power supply. 350 watts, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to cut. I'm going to pull up the power supply so that you can take a look at that. So this is the beautiful power supply. Uh, I'll switch between macro and uh, regular views just so you can get a a feel for how this thing looks. So those are the back vents. As you can see they're very dirty, very clogged up with uh, cat hair. I'm gonna clean up these a little bit. You can see all of that in there. The back of the or the front of the power supply. Those are the fan grills. I'll switch to a regular view now so you can take a general look at the whole thing. So with the power supply removed, uh, I think I'm going to unplug everything from the motherboard and remove the CD drive because I haven't actually taken a look at that yet. So I've more or less uninstalled most of the components from the motherboard. But as you can see, I was actually wrong. There is no front fan up here. So this computer was literally running off of the Cooler Master cooler over here. And it's no wonder why my relative complained that the computer was overheating if uh, they were to put it too close to the wall. So that's just a little bit of insight into pre-builds and why I do not recommend them. All right, while I'm pulling this apart, um, maybe I should actually say that pre-builds aren't necessarily horrible if you get them made right. However, this is obviously a budget PC, so it, a budget approach was taken in terms of the quality of this. Okay. So I've got the front panel removed. Uh, I don't know honestly what I'm going to do about this rust. I might try and sand it down. Maybe I should show you guys the bottom of this thing. Because I see a couple bugs and uh, it's generally a mess in here anyway. Oh, there's a grain of rice. Okay, so this is the bottom of the computer. Mm-mm-mm, delicious. There's some nice fluff on the motherboard there. Rust all around. Good stuff. So now I think it's time for the moment that you should have been waiting for, the uh, CPU cooler. So let me grab this thing out of there and I'll show it to you. Alright, so the camera right now might not be able to catch the full extent of the damage. But basically, uh, the overheating problems that my relative was talking about doesn't help the, or it's not helped by the fact that there's virtually no CPU or thermal paste on there. Uh, you can't see it, but there is Oh, there you can see some of the buildup in there of tar and pet hair. There's a huge buildup in there. And this fan is removable, so I'm going to remove it to show you guys. And there she is. <laughs> oh, God. The cause of all of the heating problems. I'm surprised the CPU even functioned, to be quite honest. This is literally solid blocks of pet hair and tar. Wow. You know, I've seen pictures of stuff like this, but holy moly. All right, so I just disassembled this power supply because I'm going to try and rinse this out too. I'm not sure that if this is a good idea, but this computer has been sitting unplugged and idle 
in my garage for two weeks probably so I'm hoping that most of the capacitors are discharged and if not they'll discharge in the water hopefully not with my hands in there and uh, we'll just see how it goes just a little bit of a side note that I don't really care what happens to this computer because it's not mine it was given to me the previous owner my relative said that they didn't care what happened to it anymore so I'm gonna experiment in it or with it and the first experiment is washing the motherboard and washing this out see if I can get this thing nice and clean all right so I'm gonna throw these components in one at a time um, gonna soak them there for probably about five minutes swish them through a little bit get some of the cat hair out of the stuff and um, then once they're done, I'm gonna shake them out, leave them to dry for oh at least a week before I even think about putting this computer together. I don't hear any frying. Ooh, there's some nice fur balls right there coming out. That's just gross. I have to get rid of some of that junk, or else it's gonna all gonna be floating around in there. CMOS battery is out by the way. Well, it's done. So it's been about um, a little more than two weeks, actually about two weeks, since I washed out all the internal components and what I've done since then is I've gone through the case, um, washed it out as well, and uh, sanded some of the rust off so that this thing isn't, uh, isn't flaking rust every time you pick it up. So now I think I'm gonna put it back together and uh, we'll see how it runs. Well, it's more or less back together again. And it never looked better. I think I got about a gig and a half of RAM in here now instead of the 512 that was in here before. It's a slightly slower speed though. Nicely cleaned out. Got a 13 gig hard drive in there. Careful, don't want to bust any boundaries on this one. Well, it took a while and when I uh, turned on the power supply, these two lights just kept blinking which made me think that the power supply was dead but uh, it's working it gave me three short beeps though and I forget what the uh, post what that is in postcode so I'm gonna power it down and see what well it's working now I removed uh, three of the sticks of RAM and left one in there and uh, now it's working so I'm gonna see which of these sticks is the problem alright so now it's working fully just threw a new stick of uh, 256 in there the other one's bad and uh, it's perfect. Completely new washed out computer. Uh, I'll just show you the um, hardware monitoring. Uh, I didn't put a lot of CPU um, thermal compound on so that's probably why it's at 54. And with this Fedora installing I, uh, I think this experiment is more or less complete.